Well, welcome back to Garrow Brother Salvage. Uh, for those of you guys that are new, I'm Brody. And I'm Ben. And we just want to take a quick second before the video to just uh, thank all of you guys, new subscribers. Our last video that we put up, we got quite a few subscribers off of and uh, glad you guys decided to stick around and, and uh, you know, check out our content. Also, I wanted to thank all you guys that have been there this whole time. We really appreciate that. Also, just one thing we want to mention uh, real quick is uh, stick around till the end of this video to check it out. We have a little sneak peek of the video we're going to have for you guys next week. And it's, uh, I can say it's something you're not going to want to miss. It's pretty, pretty unique. Absolutely. So anyways, that's it. We just want to say thanks. And uh, now let's get to the video. Let's go. Well, we just picked up six cars for 800 bucks. I'm getting really used to eating ramen. Yeah. They got a lot of flavors, actually. It's not terrible. No. Well, we're going to see if we can get any of these running. We're going to go through the inside, see what kind of goodies we can find. And then lastly, we're going to tally everything up and see how much we're going to make on these six cars here. So we don't have a lot of time to get through this. It's getting towards the end of the day. So let's get her done. Here we go. Welcome to Garrow Brothers Salvage. Where'd that thing come from? All right, just grab the, the Optima battery. Just starting at the first one in line, sequential order. This one does have a key. That's good because it's not super easy to hotwire these newer cars. Shocks are dead on that, perfect. Just hook that up real quick. A little juice there. Oh, there it is full on oil it's like clean like brand new you know the untrained eye initially you look at this engine and you might think oh that's all hopped up you know take a look no no someone just uh painted that look at down here <laughs> he's painted the harness too look at the overspray on the paint it's like some neon bluish paint there we go that'll make it a little easier now we're prepared take a look and see oh we got power right here dinging Ooh, wipers. Whoa, nice. The first one fired right up. 219,000 miles. Dang, that sounds pretty good, actually. Huh, that's Nissan V6 3000 series. Might be able to sell that engine, actually. That's sweet. Doubt we'll get that lucky on the rest of them, but you know, there's that anyways. Does it have a transmission? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. One of the motor mounts is definitely broke. You can feel the motor slamming into the firewall with torque on it there. Well, that's good news right off the bat. What are those worth? You guys put it down in the comments. Probably get 500 bucks out of it, I'm sure. Someone needed it. Wasn't knocking or nothing. Well, on to the next one. Well, this one doesn't have a key and somebody gutted all the wiring out of it. No key in this one. So we're moving on to the Envoy. Let's see what we can do there. We don't need that. One way to do her, I guess. Oh, look at that, we didn't need the stick. Oh, look at that, light, lights. Oh, you got some scratchy wiper action. Dang, it's going, firing. Oh man, we might have two runners so far. Hmm, well, it wants to run. It does. Got the two stroke mix. See if we can keep this thing idling for a minute or whatever. See, 
See how it sounds? Already has no cat on it on this one, I noticed. You ready? Yep. Give her some. All right, she's not getting fuel. Go for it. an engine anyways no doubt sweet well good deal i guess let's go through these things see what we can find in there Heck these yeah. other two they didn't have any keys in them so i happen to that. find a ford key no way oh look at that well never mind we're going over here to look moment of truth is it the right key let's see oh we don't need a key. The ignition's hollowed out. Oh, no way. Perfect. You got jumpers. Um, I think the key's the least of our issues. Yeah. Oh, hey, that makes sense. Cam's sitting in the passenger side seat. I just seen that. Nice. Well, who? Yeah, someone already got into this one. Yep. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Well. Next. Well, as you guys can see on this one, the lights are flashing. It's getting power to everything right now. But no key in there. That different key Ben found in there. It says that 450 on it. It's for a truck, actually. So, yeah. anyways. I think we're going to just start going through these. Let's start up at the front of the line and start going through the goodies in the inside. We'll save this one to last. It's got the most stuff in here. Yeah. It's got a lot of stuff packed in here. So, we're going to see what's in there. And who knows? Maybe we find the key in there. Maybe we do. I don't know. We'll find out at the end. Let's go back at the start and uh, start going through these. See what goodies we got. Sweet. There's always goodies. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm bringing this, I guess. Hammers. That helps go through cars. All right. Well, we're going to open her all up as we usually do so you can see what we're seeing. Oh, is that side locked? She's locked. Oh. I suppose. Well, back door works. Oh. We don't we like breaking glass unless we absolutely have to. It's right. kind of fun, but it makes a mess. It really car. does. We don't own the dirt, so we don't have to pick it all up. All right. Well, let's see. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find in someone else's vehicle, you know. You can learn a lot about, oh, like here's all their banking information that we won't look through. Yeah, probably want to burn that for yeah. your sake. Get rid we get rid of all of that kind of, ooh, a cool Sturgis sticker. Oh, dang, that's probably like, I don't know, two bucks right there. We better keep that's that. That's valuable. Sturgis. Oh. We're only about, I don't know, an hour and a half away from Sturgis. How, how weird, weird. Gillette Cologne. Weird. Oh. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, nothing really up here to have. It's yeah, pretty much not, it. Not looking like a lot in this one. No. Under the seats, that's the important stuff. Oh, look at that down there. What do you got there? Baby stopper. Oh. Fresh in the package. Perfect. Change though, you said? There's a quarter. Oh yeah. Some more there. Well, that's a money making deal right there. 25, 35, 45, 46 cents so far. We'll take it. Always check your uh, 47. Check your little compartments here. They're little flashlight. We have no oh, use Just a bunch it. of junk, yeah. Let's move on to the trunk. Oh, there it went. All right. Oh, nice. Well, what do we got right off the bat? Ooh, that's fairly decent tire, actually. Oh, no way. Oh, Copper look at that. Wire. Perfect. What do you got there? I have no idea. Oh. That's probably brand new in that power steering fluid. Oh, it is. It's over there. Ooh. Oh, it's a CD changer. Oh, look at that. Full of CDs. Oh, we might have to check that out later. Yeah, we'll just put that on the pile on the table. Perfect. I don't know. I guess that's about it, huh? It's just pretty much trash. All right. Moving on. 
All right, car number one, contents. Moving on to number two. Oh. It's attempting to get in. Oops. Ooh. Scratch the other one a little bit. A couple tools right away. A couple tools. Jack. Oh, yeah, the scissor jacks. We actually say these a lot. They work really handy for stuff around the shop. Not for lifting out vehicles, but other things. Oh, not a lot. Right here. Baggy of uh, questionable substance. Again, like we did not see that. Nothing in the glove box. All right, well, move on to the back seat here. Nothing under the seats. I can pretty much see from the front. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Well, got to get in the trunk now and uh, no keys. So, I get an idea. There we go. The two and a half gallon gas can. Two oh, gallon. perfect. Perfect. Those are always handy. Aluminum wheel. Sweet. Perfect. Look at that. That's a few dollars there. Oh, yeah. That's Eight car cartridge junk. Pretty empty. Someone cleaned this one up pretty good. All right. Oh, well, not going to waste any time. There you go. Plus the wheel. It was car number two. Yeah, number three. Moving yeah. right along. Opted for a pair of gloves. Some of that stuff's pretty nasty. Yeah, that first car was a little sticky. Well, just real quick. Some aluminum license plates add to the box. Yeah. Really nothing. Hey, look, I found one penny. There it is. Oh, sweet. Penny up. Side down. <laughs> ah, that's, yeah. Uh, failed attempt. Not much in this. There's some mold on the floor. Secret cubby right there? That it is. Not secret, but... Whoa, oh, no way! <laughs> there you go. There's tons of goodies in there. Oh, are you hungry? Doritos. Oh, she had nailed that one on the first round. Well, let's see. Oh, there's another. Oh, nice. That's a full set now on this car, too. Perfect. Another one of those jacks. Yeah. Definitely going to save those. That is full. Oh, no way. That's sweet. Heck, yeah. Car number three in the books. Just found that decent 911 there. We'll definitely use that. On to the Envoy. Ooh, we got in there. Bunch uh, of, oh, nice. There you are. Saving those. Oh, lovely. The wire nuts for sure. Well, things might have turned around in the back here. Oh man, there is some stuff in there, isn't there? Oh, I didn't even notice the TV because I couldn't see it very yeah. well on my side. Uh, right off the bat. If you're younger, that's what TVs used to look like. Oh yeah. All I was gonna say is I have the VHS player in it, but it, it does not. It does not. Huh. Sanyo. Oh yeah. Nice. We're gonna have a shop TV now. Probably works. Probably does. I don't know. You couldn't kill those. No. That's the thing. These new TVs. I don't know. You guys throw it down in the comments how often you got to get a new TV. They burn out. They break. I, I don't know. Stuff goes. I've been through three TVs since we've had our house in four years. It's ridiculous. These old ones, though, they never die. There we go. Oh, yeah. See anything in here? Probably not. There's like nothing at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, well, TV was a big score on that one. That's like, what, 15 bucks at the second hand store? Probably. There it is. That's what we found in number four. Well, this is the one that had the engine torn apart. So we'll just see what we can find. Oh, locked right off the bat. Both locked. Oh, hang on, I got an idea. makes for easy access that way yeah you said it's exactly why we don't like to have to break the glass not totally necessary but it's easier to get in here to get all the doors open it really is and of course 
as stated before, engine parts everywhere. Yeah, not not doing too well, guys, so far. No. Really not going as good as a guy could expect. I don't know, like I said, last one, this thing, I mean, you can see it, it is full. Maybe have a little redemption on that. I don't know. Nothing there, huh? Dang. Under the back already, huh? Yeah. Well, we're just gonna move the contents of the back to the front. Oh yeah, that right there is where you want the gloves. <laughs> That's for sure. No, no. Oh man. This one, we can get it right to the scrapyard quick. Let's uh, just At take a brief look without getting covered in somebody else's blanket. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna throw this stuff in and close this front door here. Because keep her contained. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. No, no thousand dollar bills stuck mm. down in there somewhere. No. South Dakota map. South Dakota Wyoming map. Oh. Nothing. No. Compartment. Oh, saved by the bell. One of those. One of those weird bungees. Sell that for 50 cents. This is the contents of the fifth vehicle. Dang, that's lame. Well, chill to do the last. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. All right. Well, this one, maybe <laughs> it's a saving grace. That's why we put it last, do it last, because it just has the most stuff in it. So maybe there's something good out of all that stuff. Yeah. Well, let's get right into it, huh? Let's find out. All right, let's go. Oh man, like I said, <laughs> we may have to put some stuff on top. Somebody's closet exploded in here. So. Oh, no way. I got a blue one. No way. Yeah. We might need those for winter time. No doubt. That's pretty worth Wash saving. Wash those like sure. 15 times, but full suit coveralls or yeah, whatever you want to call them. First oh, no one, way. check out the old leather tool oh, belt. Yeah, tool belt. Even got a Sharpie. And a pencil in there. Any uh, thousand dollar bills tucked in the pockets? Nope. Yeah. A little dab of aluminum. Well, that's probably stainless or it could just be steel. I'll have to check it with the magnet later. I like how you're making a nice pile on top of the car and trying to keep everything contained. And here I am just throwing everything on the ground. Well, most of this trash. Well, I'm just eyeballing that Baldwin filter right away. Oh, look at that. Look at that water fuel separator filter. We can run those numbers online real quick and figure out what that's for. And probably don't have a piece of equipment or truck that's going to need it. Who knows? Maybe we get lucky and fit that 8.3 Cummins in there. Here's your little 12-volt power inverter. Oh, nice. Hey, we might be able to totally utilize that. Oh, he's charging cameras and phones while we're traveling. No doubt. Some pens. Oh, man, this is packed down here. It really is. There's an air pump. Bike pump. Oh, yeah. Hoses broke off. Probably garbage now. Oh. There oh, you go. Oh, man. Jeez. Caster wheels. Weights. It's all metal anyways, so it's money out of it that way. There you go. Oh, yeah. Them are valuable to have. Nice. Form stake. Perfect. Grade stake, whatever stake you need it for. Some paint. Uh, can just probably. Yeah. It's uh, someone's life stuffed in here. It really is. But they made a big life decision when they got rid of it, or maybe they didn't have a choice. <laughs> that can happen. To the back. On to the back. Oh. <laughs> it continues. Man. Well, now I got the front seat, so transfer all this. I'm gonna close that door. Oh, yeah. Little, little tent. Help you get this tarp out of there. Oh, some trinkets down there. Potentially some usable trinkets. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Shovel. Those are always handy. Little tent. What is it, a two manor? Probably. Probably. Sleeps too. Six by four foot two inches. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I've not seen that measured that way before. Four foot two inches on the tent. They got a V belt. Oh, man. 
Oh, would you look at that? I'm already seeing some good tools. Oh, V belts, yeah, for sure. Definitely use those. Oh, nice. I think I'm getting a little too excited about you know stuff that really isn't that exciting. But what do you guys think? There's all kinds of good stuff. Look at all those washers, cotter pin, big one right there. Oh man, strap bar. There it is. Those are not super cheap if you have to go buy one of those. Here we are. We're going to hang on to that because that is going to get put with this truck. You guys will see that here in the future. Just a little sneak peek on that one. Some uh, panes of glass. Oh, man. That looks like out of a... Well, it could be out of a vehicle. Maybe one of those fireplaces, you know? That's what I was thinking. Something like that. I don't know. We should totally save those. Might be able to use those for something. Oh, I'll have to pull this wire. Oh, big old sub wire. Oh, yeah. Or is that some kind yeah. of lead or is that for a sub? I think it is. That for a sub? That's I a little big. So. It maybe looks like they took a pair of jumper cables and cut it in half, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, unless the battery's in the back on this one, but it's not. It's obviously, we hooked it up. It's up front. Dang. Well, a bunch of little brackets and stuff like that. Some bolts. We'll save. Fittings. Aluminum, anyways, at the very least in there hook oh dang nice hook for a chain with the pins brand new perfect bunch of little goodies all right well who we got next the back that's it that's it skater it's our last chance it's full how much you want to bet something valuable on the back here like maybe a dollar it's like a uncertainty at this point as to what's even in here i'll bet you that 75 cents i found on the other car okay where was it who was it you guys remember what that was how much 46 cents i don't know it was something under a dollar oh my god no way right off the bat guys we gotta we gotta start with this guys look at all of these boomers any of you guys that buy chains of boomers or have looked at chains of boomers at the store and said no and found some used ones for cheap you know how much those are those are not cheap some of these ones are like 120 bucks new 90 to 120 bucks right in there no doubt dang <laughs> that makes up for a lot already it really does good deal honestly someone might need that no doubt Maybe those boomers even came with a cheater pipe not a heavy duty one but probably enough Strap action. Yeah. Oh, we'll add that to the five million other ones we have. Perfect. Just in time. Oh, that is perfectly in time. Look at that. Ooh. Is that a chainsaw motor? Or? Yeah, something. What do you think? A little tiny two stroke. Oh, that thing would run. It's got good compression. <laughs> nice. Well, that's kind of cool. Hang on to that for sure. What's left of a carpet shampooer? Cord copper wire on it. Some shocks. Sprinkler. Go back in there. Oh, oh, screw jack. I bet you that's a lawnmower front end. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. For riding lawnmower. Huh. Belt. Park jumper. Refrigerator. Oh, oh. Big old amp. Well, that's interesting. There's where all the copper wire is going. No doubt. Check her out, guys. She's all fixed up. They're all fancy with some. Oh, what do, you, what do you think those are? Oh, yep, those are ten screws. Oh yeah, that <laughs> right, explains right the, to the back of the seat. Explains the giant wire. Look at this. What the reckon? Ooh, what here? is in there? What is all that? Oh, those are those. What are, are those for? Different. Oh, those are for on the display shelf at the store. They're oh, no hooks doubt. That go on the pegboard. Look what I found right away. Oh, nice striker. Flint ingot. Yep. Good deal. Good haul on that one. We'll get her over to the table. We'll meet you guys over there. Hang on, guys. Just one more thing. We forgot to lift up the back. Oh, yeah. A heavy duty. Those are like zero gauge set of, what do you think? I think Jumper so. Jumper cables. Those, those are, are not the cheap ones. Those are the yeah. good ones. For heavy sure. duty. Nice score. That's a good one. I can't remember how much those are really worth. We can look them up, but, you know. It might be like 40, 50 bucks for a set. No doubt. All right, things are getting serious. I got the notepad out. Oh. Wrote down a bunch of numbers. Even used a calculator, huh? Yeah. Oh. 
It's painful. Well, we're going to give you guys just a brief rundown real quick. Basically, breakdown. We'll make this quick. Spent 800 bucks on all the cars. We just kind of looked up some stuff and did some estimates on some things. So first of all, if we look at everything we got here, you look at it value-wise, there's about like 400 bucks here. You figure. Them boomers, yeah, those were like 70 bucks for the small ones and 90, 100 for the bigger ones. No so doubt. You got about that much here in value. And as far as the cars go, we got about 23,000 pounds of cars. So where we're at, that's about 1,500 bucks we'll get for them. Wheels, 20 wheels, that's 280 bucks. Cats, the ones that do have cats, a lot of them aren't the high dollar ones, but there's still 300 bucks there. Yeah. And engines. You're looking at that Nissan, Ed. if it was a lower mile, mileage engine, it would be 1000 to 1500 bucks. but that one's got 200,000 miles, so 500 bucks. because yeah. it does run good. And then this Vortec, if it seems to run good, we'll have to run a little and see if they're you know, smoking or whatever, but it could be another 500 bucks for that. For sure. But basically, grand total, we made $2,680 on all the cars. That's pretty good. That's not bad for... Couple days of work, most definitely. So, anyways, we should test that Nissan out real quick. I think so. Oh boy! Yep, two thousand one Nissan Maxima, two hundred nineteen thousand miles, clean one owner. Minor passenger side drivers, fender hood damage. Eight hundred bucks your best offer. Well, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, that means you must be interested, or maybe you skipped ahead. Either way, in next week's video, but we're gonna throw a picture up real quick, give you a little sneak peek. This thing is a homemade RV. And the cool thing about it is it has a Perkins six cylinder diesel in it. Thing's been sitting for 10 years and it's about four hours away. We're gonna go and try and fire it up and drive it back to the shop. Well, thanks to everyone that subscribed. And uh, if you're not subscribed, consider it, it's free. It's easy, you just click that button right there. Then you get to see when we're gonna be doing whatever it is we do. Yeah. Don't want to miss it. We got some fun stuff planned coming up for the future. So at the very least, we'll see you guys next week. Definitely come back, see if we make it in the RV. That might be, I don't know, it's a bad idea altogether to even do that. Well, at least we can sleep in it if we break down. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect.